welcome. Today is February 19th, 2019, and I'm here to do our daily check-in. So let's begin. Let's see. Okay, so I believe that uh, today is the full moon in Virgo. Um, I've been feeling like a lot of like energies from yesterday until today and it feels a little heavy. But let's see what the energies are coming out for today. So let's begin. Today I will use, um, I'll use the regular right of weight to rope. I'll use the witch's tarot. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have here Eight of Wands, and clarifying that is the Nine of Pentacles. So, what I'm getting here is that there is going to be, like, communication uh, from your Divine Counterpart, um, possibly about, like, you know, being independent or, you know, if you guys had a period of separation, um, you know, I do see that, you know, you guys would be communicating with each other, you know, possibly about, like, what you guys have been doing, um, you know, what's going on in your life, um, things of that nature. Hmm. And underneath, I see here the Knight of Wands with the Four of Swords. Okay, so what I'm getting with that is that, you know, your Divine Masculine, you know, wants to come in and communicate um, after, like, a period of rest. And I see here the Divine Feminines, um, they look like they're a little bit on guard. So, um, <laughs> I just feel like, uh, you know, I see that, you know, you're coming back, but what is this all about? But... You know, I do see that, you know, there's going to be communication um, between the divine counterparts. So, let's see what today's energy brings. Okay. So, first we have the Six of Pentacles. Next, we have Ace of Wands. Then we have the Devil, 
And then here we have the star. So what I'm getting here is that, you know, um, I feel like, you know, there has been an imbalance, uh, you know, in giving and receiving. And, and I see that, you know, um, there is going to be some sort of a change, you know, that I feel. Um, I do see here the Ace of Wands, you know, where there is going to be a start, you know, where, you know, you or your divine counterpart will be taking action, um, you know, and it has something to do in regards to, you know, this devil energy. And so what I'm feeling is that, you know, this is probably dealing with like codependency, attachments, ego, and I feel like, you know, with the star, you know, there is a uh, healing and hope, you know, um, possibly in reconnecting with their divine others. So let me see. Let's clarify. Okay, so here with the Six of Pentacles, it is clarified here with the Two of Pentacles, okay? So what I'm getting here is that, you know, you or your divine counterpart are, are, are balancing some things out. And it's kind of ironic that, you know, I also see here the scales, you know, with the Six of Pentacles. So wherever that there is an imbalance okay where one was giving more than the other i feel like you know that that is you know being uh, rectified or remedied at the situation i feel like it's more like the divine masculine who is trying to balance <clears throat> some things out um in their physical life you know to where they can you know give more towards their divine feminine and here with the Ace of Wands, okay, it is clarified here with the Five of Wands, okay. And so what I'm getting here is that, you know, where there was like conflict, you know, between the twins, I feel like now, um, you know, your Divine Masculine is going to take action, you know, to kind of like get out of this energy and um and i see that you know because here with the devil all right it is clarified here with the six of wands and so what i'm getting is that your divine masculine okay will will be successful in you know getting out of any kind of codependent you know behaviors any kind of attachments or addictions um and i feel like you know it's a coming together with their divine counterpart, um, you know, because I feel like, you know, in the past there was an imbalance, you know, there was conflict, you know, there could have been like some disagreements or arguments, but I do see that there is a new beginning, you know, uh, that is coming. And, you know, that's why we have here, you know, the Eight of Wands as the overall energy, you know, where I just feel that, you know, twins have been working independently um, up to this point, but, you know, with this communication, I feel like, you know, there will be a coming together, and the reason why I say that is because with this star card, it is clarified here with the high priest, and so, like, with this high priest, you know, I just feel like, you know, um, there is still hope, okay, for, you know, this coming together, you know, where, you know, the twins are in this spiritual connection and also to take, you know, uh, this uh, relationship to the next level, okay? Yeah, so here we have the Queen of Cups and then we have the Five of Pentacles and then we have the Queen of Pentacles, okay? We have two queens here. <laughs> so, but let's see. 
um, with this Queen of Cups, okay, I feel like, you know, where the Divine Masculine was juggling, okay, or not giving a balance, you know, towards, you know, his Divine counterpart, I feel like, you know, that is in regards to emotions. I feel like the Divine Masculine wasn't really giving, you know, any emotions towards their Divine Feminine, you know, but I do see here, you know, it was because of some sort of a conflict, but I do see a birth thing of something new. I do see that there is going to be action, okay, to kind of get out of this energy, um, you know, because also I see here, you know, the Five of Pentacles, where both counterparts, you know, were feeling left out in the cold, and I believe that, you know, this was the first card in, in a reading that I think happened about maybe two days ago. And so now it is in the center, the heart of today's reading. So what I'm getting with this Five of Pentacles energy is that, you know, with this Five of Wands, okay, there was, like, conflict, okay, where, you know, it left both counterparts out here in the cold. And not only that, it has something to do with this Devil energy, you know, maybe with, you know, attachments, you know, codependencies, um, you know, or anything, you know, of that nature that was bringing the connection down. But, you know, I do see that there is going to be change, and fives also means change as well. And here we have the Queen of Pentacles. So what I'm getting here is that, you know, the Divine Feminines, you know, is working, you know, by themselves, you know, working on their, you know, physical life, you know, nurturing themselves, and still, like, having hope towards this connection, and, you know, and possibly, you know, still feeling tied or bound to the connection as well. Huh. Yes. So here, with the Queen of Cups, okay, it is clarified here with karma. So what I'm getting is that, you know, whatever that the Divine Feminines have gone through, I feel like, you know, it, it was uh, something karmic, okay, where, you know, they had to go through this, you know, action with the Divine Masculines where they were not giving, you know, uh, like a, a balance, you know, towards their, you know, towards themselves. And so, like, you know, not only that, you know, this conflict that they just recently had was also karmic as well. But again, guys, I do see here like a, like a new like beginning, you know, where um, the Divine Masculines are, are ready, you know, to come in um, and possibly, you know, communicate, you know, towards their Divine Feminine who has been working on themselves, okay? Now, here with the Five of Pentacles, it is clarified here with the Three of Swords. And so what I'm getting with this is that, you know, Divine Masculines, okay, are, are really planning, you know, to move forward, to get out of this, you know, feeling like left on the cold energy. And also, you know, this conflict, you know, with the Divine Feminines. And so, you know, what I'm getting is that, you know, this conflict could be between, you know, Divine counterparts, but also it could mean that, you know, the divine other, you know, um, was fighting off other karmic people as well, you know, so that, you know, they could have like this new beginning with their divine other. And so that that's what I'm feeling. And also, you know, this is right next to this devil energy, but, you know, it is clarified here with the six of wands. So I see a lot of wand energies in here, guys. We have here the ace of wands, the three of wands. We have here the um, six of wands, okay, five of wands, and um, the eight of wands. There's a lot of wands out here, so I do see that there is going to be movement, okay. Now, with the queen of pentacles, it is clarified here with the king of pentacles. So what I'm getting with this is that, you know, with this attachment, okay, they, the, the divine counterparts know 
that they have this connection with each other. It is unbreakable, okay? And I feel like, you know, whatever situations that you guys are in, they will overcome that, okay, guys? And I see here, you know, with the star card, you know, with hope and healing, I see that, you know, there is going to be like a higher level of commitment, okay, between the twins, okay? And it's going to be, you know, in the physical, it is going to be solid. It is going to be, you know, stable, nurturing, okay? Um, any Anything, you know, that you can really think of um, in the 3D aspect of this relationship. Okay. So here we have the Ace of Swords. And then we have the Queen of Wands. Guys, we have three queens out here on this spread. So, what I'm getting is that, you know, with this Ace of Swords, there is going to be like new communication towards the Divine Feminines, okay? About like, you know, emotions, okay? And also about their passions and desires. And I see here the Divine Feminines, okay? They're, they're like really looking away from this communication. In a sense, I feel like, you know, they probably don't want to hear it from their Divine uh, counterpart. And, um, but I do see that, you know, this clarity, you know, is going to be coming through, you know, and also, you know, it could be clarity towards like this karmic situation that the divine feminines, you know, have really gone through, you know, in regards to their emotions. And what I'm getting is that, you know, this is growth or healing, you know, uh, in this connection here. And with the, the Queen of Wands, I feel like, you know, the Divine Feminines are really using their intuition, you know, really about like this, this communication that they could be having from their Divine Other. And not only that, you know, I feel like they're turning away from this Five of Pentacles energy, you know, where the Divine Masculines are, are planning, you know, for their return, um, you know, in choosing the direction, you know, towards their Divine counterpart. And, um, and I also see here, you know, this Queen of Wands is also, you know, just like looking after, you know, themselves. And so let me go ahead and clarify. Yes. So with this Ace of Swords, it is clarified here with the Eight of Cups. So what I'm getting here is that, you know, there is going to be like truth and clarity, okay, you know, to like, you know, this divine feminine who I felt like, you know, has walked away, you know, from the connection. Um, and, you know, if, you know, and I just feel like, you know, divine feminine here is looking at the moon. So I just have this feeling that this moon energy that we're having is very powerful, especially for the Divine Feminines, I'm feeling. You know, I feel like, you know, they're looking towards the moon, looking towards the stars, you know, wishing that, you know, their Divine counterpart could come to them correct. And, you know, and I feel like, you know, they're, they're like all in their emotions as well. Um, but with this communication, you know, I just feel like, you know, Divine Feminines are, are on, on the fence, you know, whether or not, you know, they should really, you know, I guess, entertain themselves to be, you know, with their divine counterpart. But if not, you know, I still feel like, you know, they are holding space for them. Okay. Now, here with the Queen of Wands, it is clarified here with the Ace of Pentacles. So, what I'm getting here is that, you know, we have here three aces out here in this spread. There's a, like a lot of new beginnings here, okay? And, you know, and a lot of like wand energy. And so what I'm getting here is that, you know, with this Queen of Wands, with the Ace of Pentacles, there is going to be a new beginning. And, and I feel like, you know, it could be with or without their divine counterpart. And I feel like, you know, this divine feminine is feeling really strong and very confident in her ways. I just have this feeling like she feels like, you know, or he or she feels like no matter the situation, you know, they're good. 
you know, um, you know, with or without their divine counterpart. But, you know, what I'm seeing here is that there is a new beginning regardless in the physical, okay? Because I see here the king and queen of pentacles that is clarified with each other. So I do see that, you know, there is a coming together, you know, with the twins, all right? So, crowning this reading, we have judgment. Oh my goodness. So what I'm feeling is that this is a reconciliation, guys. I feel like, you know, this is a coming together. This is like the divine stepping in, okay, to bring the twins together, you know, so that, you know, they could like, I guess, you know, come, come towards each other. So whatever this communication is, okay, I feel like, you know, it is through divine intervention, guys. I feel like the divine is going to be bringing you guys together. Um, you know, because I just feel like, you know, uh, the divine counterparts, you know, have been working independently up to this point. And, you know, and I see that, you know, it is time, you know, for them, you know, to really, you know, kind of communicate and discuss you know, this uh, Six of Pentacles energy where there was an imbalance and I feel like it's the Divine Masculines who is going to really, you know, voice their opinion and they're going to really take action over any kind of conflict that there was and get out of this situation. I feel like they're going to use this wand and, and beat off like anything that is negative, you know, in their path, you know, and I see that here with this Devil energy they are going to over overcome that, you know, so that, you know, they can heal from, from the situation and heal, you know, uh, you know, from the connection and come together with their divine counterpart in a higher level of commitment where, you know, um, they have grown in a spiritual sense. And I see that, you know, the twins are going to be coming together in the physical guys, you know, in the, in the heart of this reading, okay? It is about, you know, divine counterparts that are not feeling very, uh, you know, loving towards each other, you know, and I see that the divine masculines is, is ready to move forward, okay, in choosing the divine feminine because I see that he is facing divine feminine, okay, with emotions and, you know, I see here this karma card, you know, this, this was a, a karmic, you know, um, situation here where the twins had to go through this to learn from their experiences and you know with this new communication you know the divine feminines you know are like leaving you know whatever you know emotional baggage that they had you know in the past and I feel like you know they're on the fence you know they're either like walking away from the connection or they're moving towards it you know and holding space for their divine other you know, because here with the Queen of Wands energy, regardless if, you know, their Divine Masculines are in their life or not, there is a new beginning, okay? I do see that. And with judgment, okay? So, it's like, no matter what your decision is, okay, Divine Feminines, whether or not you want this connection or, or not, I feel like, you know, the Divine is going to be stepping in and, and I see here that, you know, there is going to be a coming together, okay? So let me clarify. <laughs> yeah, we have here the Five of Swords. So what I'm getting here is that, you know, um, you or your divine counterpart are feeling mentally conflicted about, like, coming together, okay, um, in this partnership. And, you know, and I just feel like it's more so the divine feminines because I see that the divine masculines know that they need to offer balance in this, you know, relationship. And, you know, and I see here with the Nine of Pentacles card that, you know, twins, twins are really acting really independent at this time. But I do see communication coming in, guys. You know, and this could be about, like, expressing, you know, your emotions or your feelings or love, you know, towards your divine counterpart. But I just feel like, you know, through this uh, mental, okay, um, thinking, 
about like being stuck you know or whatever conflict that you're having in your mind you know about like being left out in the cold I feel like you know the divine is really stepping in okay um, and um, is showing you that you know you really need to get out of this five of swords energy okay you know because you know if you want union you know that is what you have to do you know even if you don't want union okay I see that regardless of the situation okay I think that decisions okay are really being made in the physical okay so I feel like I want to clarify some more let me pull uh, a few cards from the uh, after tarot let's see what is going to happen you know once we come to this uh, judgment I am curious We have here the King of Wands. So this is Divine Masculine that is taking action, okay? They're 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 going for it. So Divine Feminines, whether or not you really want this or not, your Divine Masculine is coming through, okay? And here, you know, I also see the star card. So like in this depiction, okay, uh this a feminine, okay, has one foot in the water and there there's one uh jug on land and one that is pouring into the water okay and then in the after tarot this feminine is in the lake okay and she is basking herself in that water okay um there's still one that is on the ground and there's one in the water so what i'm getting is that you know divine feminines are going to be healing from the situation once their divine masculine comes in takes action you know and communicates towards their divine feminine okay okay so here we have the moon okay then we have knight of pentacles and then we have ace of cups okay so what I'm getting here is that you know there are gonna be secrets you know or things that are gonna be revealed you know towards divine feminines and I feel like you know it could be through intuition but also you know we have like the moon that the full moon um, that is coming out you know for today and so what I'm getting is that you know divine feminines is going to be receiving downloads you know of information from the divine you know and also possibly from their divine counterpart either through telepathy or actual communication okay and um, I feel like Divine Feminines are going to be feeling really emotional at this time, you know, about this connection. And, you know, with this Knight of Pentacles, I do see that the Divine Masculine is coming in, you know, to make an offer towards their Divine Feminine. But at the same time, you know, they're doing it very slowly. And, you know, and that's why I feel that with this judgment, you know, divine, you know, feminines are, are probably all stuck in their head, you know, about like, you know, this communication coming from the divine masculine. And I see that here because with the queen of wands, you know, they don't take shit for nothing. They don't care, you know, like, you know, what is going down. But I see that, you know, they're taking action, you know, for their own selves, you know, whether or not their divine masculine is with them or not, because what I'm feeling is that they are just taking way too long you know in this connection about like giving this balance towards the divine feminine and about like any conflicts that they had and being left out in the cold and any kind of like codependency addictions you know or any kind of like negative behaviors but you know what there is hope guys you know there is there is this inkling of hope you know for this you know um 
you know, partnership. And so, you know, with this Ace of Cups, I do see that there is going to be an emotional, you know, new beginning or offer that the Divine Masculine is going to be handing, you know, towards their Divine Feminine, you know, but it is coming in slow. So the communication might be coming in. You might have like, you know, some quick, you know, contact with your Divine Other. You know, but the offer, okay, of this balance, I feel like, you know, it is slow coming because I see that they're still juggling, that they're still trying to um, balance some things out, you know, possibly in their physical life. And, and I feel like the Divine Feminines can't wait anymore and they're just willing to take matters in their own hands and really focusing on themselves and, and their stability in the physical, okay? So... So overall, I mean, I guess it is what it is, guys, you know, Divine Masculines are, are still taking their time, but they're coming in slow, okay? So Divine Feminines, like I always say, work on yourself, you know, work on your, your own happiness, your independence, your growth, and then whenever Divine Masculines is coming in, which I do see here, okay, he will be, or he or she will be coming in as the King of Wands, okay? And they're going to be taking action and they're going to come in with their whole passion and desires. They're going to take charge, okay? Where you took the lead, okay, for today, they will be coming in after. So this is what I feel is necessary or this action that is going to be, you know, happening with the Divine Feminines is that they are the ones who are actually going to be leading, you know, uh, this energy where, you know, they're the ones who are going to be starting something in the physical for themselves, you know, because, you know, there's still an imbalance coming from the Divine Masculines and that's why, you know, people are feeling, you know, all left on the cold because there was an imbalance. But you know what? I see the Divine Masculines coming in and making that offer. Okay, so let's see what the angels have to say. What is the guidance that they want to bring to us today? feeling that the energies were a little heavy and I see it now. Let's see what's going on. But you know the full moon is a time of clearing. So if you do like full moon rituals of or anything of that nature, you know, write down on a piece of paper what you want to release, okay? And and I believe that you can burn it uh, under the moonlight, you know, with a candle, okay, to, uh, to release those energies, okay, guys, um, and if you do crystals and stuff, you know, make sure that, you know, um, you, uh, cleanse those, okay, and here we have meditation brings answers, okay, so that's what I'm feeling, I feel like, you know, if you are communicating, you know, with your divine counterpart and, you know, it puts you in a little funk, you know, meditate, okay? When you meditate, you know, you become centered and you become grounded and, you know, become more aware of the situation. And basically what I'm seeing here is that, you know, divine feminines, you just work on you. Your divine masculine will come through, okay? And, and set this record straight, okay, and give you that balance that, that you so deserve, okay? So meditate, all right? And then we have abundance, okay? So I do see that, you know, there is an abundance that is going to be... You know, the divine is really working, you know, between the divine counterparts at this time, you know, because I feel like, you know... And I feel like, you know, this is Divine Feminine, okay? And it could be the Divine Masculine where, you know, you're stuck in your mind, you know, about like any kind of conflicts that you've had. But you know what? Meditate. Release those negative energies and let them go. Because once you do, 
there will be an abundance, okay? An abundance, you know, will be coming through. And it could be abundance, you know, in your material life. It could be abundance in love. It could be abundance in, in anything that makes you feel full. And so, you know, that is really good. So meditate, guys, okay? All right. So let's uh, see what we have to surrender to for today. Okay, two came out. <laughs> All right. Surrender to trust. Trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Guys, here we go. Surrender to trust. Okay. Trust your intuition. Meditate. All right. Trust your guidance. Don't always, you know, you know, follow what other people are saying. If some people are telling you like what to do, you make your own decisions. You don't have to follow what other people tell you what to do. You have to use your, your inner gut, your inner knowing, okay? And surrender to trust. Trust, okay? All right. Hmm. Surrender the idea you can fix someone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It is time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Guys, that's what I'm feeling too with this reading, all right? Surrender the idea that you can fix someone. Because, you know, what I'm feeling here is that with this uh, Nine of Pentacles energy, both counterparts are working independently at this time, okay? I feel like, you know, Divine Masculine, all right, needs to understand that there is no balance in this, you know, connection here. And they are currently juggling that, okay? They need to offer balance, okay? They need to be aware, you know, for themselves that they aren't giving into that. And if the Divine Feminines is telling the Divine Masculines, like, you know, you're not putting in the work and you need to do this and that, Naturally, they're not going to want to hear what you have to say. They need to, you know, find that um, out for themselves. You know, so if there is a period of separation that has occurred or needs to happen, let that happen so that you guys can understand, okay, what needs to be healed, okay? And I feel like, you know, with the Divine Masculines, they need to offer balance towards their Divine Feminine. Because I see here with the Divine Feminine, they're going through this karmic cycle where they are not receiving the emotions from their Divine Masculine. And that's why, you know, both counterparts are feeling left out in the cold. And here, you know, there was conflict. I feel like, you know, it's Divine Masculines, you know, who is defending himself, you know, from all kinds of people. Not only the Divine Feminine, but other karmic situations or other outside circumstances that they are currently going through at this time. You know, and I see that, you know, the devil wants to show up. But I feel like, you know, this is more of a divine masculine energy than I'm feeling with this card. But what I'm getting is that, you know, they still have like codependencies. They still have attachments. They still have some things that they need to release. You know, it could be ego also. But, you know, I do see that they are working on that, okay? So divine feminines, if you feel called that you need to reach out to your divine masculine and tell your divine counterpart what to do okay don't okay just just let them learn from them themselves okay okay because silence okay 
is action too. And with and, and if you don't communicate, that will help them to think, okay? If there's no communication, they're going to be using their minds or using their telepathy about what the heck is going on, okay? So let them think for themselves. And then, Divine Feminines, I see that you too are also, you know, working on yourselves. And I see that, you know, you are really healing, okay, from the situation. And I feel like, you know, that's for, for both counterparts. But I feel like, you know, this is more so, you know, with the Divine Feminines. And I see that, you know, you're currently working on yourself, working on your 3D life, but also taking action, you know, moving forward in, in your own personal life okay no longer you know waiting for your divine masculine and i also feel that you know um you're you're trying to like work on yourself okay so um if the divine masculines was telling you all this and that you too you know are, are working out you know your situation too you know from from that communication from your divine counterpart so i feel like you know it goes both ways guys okay so I feel like, you know, this is just a period of, you know, realizing, you know, what is going on with your connection, learning to heal, okay, so that you guys can come back. Because, you know, in the future energies, you know, I do see that the Divine Masculines is going to be coming in. They're going to be taking charge, okay. I feel like Divine Feminines are going to receive downloads, okay, or using their intuition, um, you know, with this, you know, uh, action that is going on. And they're really, you know, contemplating about, you know, the whole situation here. But I do see here the Divine Masculines are going to be, you know, returning, you know, slowly. And they will be offering their love. Okay, guys? So, um, if this reading is resonating with you, you know, let me know, you know. But that's what I'm seeing, you know. I, I had this feeling that today's energy was going to be heavy. So, um, it's a little heavy, but it's not nothing that can't be worked on, okay, guys? So, I really hope you enjoyed today's reading. Uh, thank you all for all your likes, your comments, your shares, and subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And what I'm getting here is that twins, okay, are working, you know, independently. But I do see that there is going to be communication between them, you know, about like this imbalance, about like any conflicts, about like people being left out in the cold, you know, about like any kind of karmic situations or any kind of attachments or codependencies or ego that is getting in the way, you know. And I feel that, you know, divine feminines are feeling really emotional about the situation. But, you know, at the same time, you know, what Whatever that action, you know, that they have received from their divine counterpart, that pushed them to be, you know, more of a, you know, a divine feminine to really work on themselves. And I see that they're taking action and, you know, with or without their divine counterpart. But I do see that the divine masculines are, are, are coming in, you know, to match up to the divine feminines. And so... You know, I do see here judgment, guys. So it's up to you, you know, whenever you receive this communication, you know, from your divine counterpart. But I do see that divine is stepping in, working with this connection. But what I'm getting is that if you are in mental conflict, you know, about the situation, meditate, okay, to get out of it, all right? And then once you are clear in your mind, then you know, like, which actions to take, okay, guys? So, I really hope that this reading was helpful, and um, if you would like to book a private reading, you can visit me on my website. It is www.scorpiomoonintuition.com, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow. All right, bye-bye.